Hello, Second Grade Scholars. Welcome back. And it's Wednesday, April 1st. And today we're going to be talking about sit-ups, where it's where you lay down with your feet up like this, and then you come up so that you are working out your stomach. And I don't know about you, but I don't really like working out. And I'm starting to get into it because I'm at home and it's actually really good for your body. Get your heart rate up, kind of when you're running around during recess and you kind of go, oh my goodness, Miss Park, I need a drink. My heart is just beating so fast. So I need to get my heart rate up. So I talked to Miss Hildebrand, who actually is really good at working out. She used to go to the gym all the time. And she told me, hey, we should do sit-ups. And I said, okay, I'll do sit-ups. So then she did sit-ups, and I did sit-ups, and guess who did more? <laughs> Obviously, Ms. Hildebrand did more, but this is what a sit-up looks like, kind of. So you just do it on the floor. This is inclined, which means it's kind of put it on the plank. But let's move on to our question. So I did, Ms. Park, did 42 sit-ups. Ms. Hildebrand did 89 more sit-ups than me. How many setups did Miss Hildebrand do? So you already know how much I did, but you need to kind of deep in deep, like dig in deeper. So right now I want to give you a chat, chance to pause and look at the problem, because right now we're going to go to the next screen and do our retelling. Not working today. All right. All right. So this is our retelling portion. Again, it's always the same. Uh, it does not need to be word for word, and you are just trying your best to tell me what is going on in the story. You can pause the video at any point to look at it again, and in a second I'm going to click the pause point where the blue box shows up and it covers the problem so you can do your retelling. Are you ready? Alright, pause now. Okay, did you retell? If you didn't quite get it, go back a couple minutes, try it again, and that's absolutely fine. You're just trying to get the question and the story in your head so that when you're looking at the problem and trying to solve it, you actually understand what the story is telling you. Let's go to our next slide. So now we're going to really dive into this problem. First we do our reading, and we usually read it twice. So I'm going to read the first time. I want you to pause and read the second time to yourself. Are you ready? All right. I did 42 sit-ups. Miss Hildebrand did 89 more sit-ups than me. How many sit-ups did Miss Hildebrand do? You're going to pause right now and read it to yourself. Now that we read it twice, we're going to hop in. What is the first thing that you know? What is the first thing? that they tell you. Go right to the beginning of your question and start reading again and going, oh, okay, that's something really important. I did 42 setups. What is really important about that sentence? The whole thing of who did it? I did. How many? 42. Of what? Setups. You need to know that part to answer the question. Because the next part that they're going to ask you about is, Miss Hildebrand did 89 more setups than me. This is not just one thing that is important, it's a string of words that is important. And it's the fact that the whole thing tells you much more. Because if you just circled, Miss Hildebrand did 89, did she just do 89 sit-ups? No, she did not. She did 89 more sit-ups than who? Than me, Miss Park. So that whole sentence tells you so much more. Now, what is it asking you to do? The words that you're looking for is in the Miss Hildebrand sentence. It says, Miss Hildebrand did 89 more sit-ups than me. The word that's really important, or the words, is more. They're, they're telling you that she did 89 more, not just 89. Now, what is the question? How many sit-ups did Miss Hildebrand do? Again, look for that question mark at the end. Now, this is your more and less question before we start to fully start to solve. Your question is, did Ms. Hildebrand do more than 89 sit-ups or less than 89 sit-ups? More would be a thumbs up, less would be a thumbs down. Please pause and tell me what you did for more or if you did less. 
Great job explaining. Now let's go on to try to solve. Before we solve, I do want to give you some key details and some drawings to help you out understand what is going on. Thing is, think of what you know. Again, we already went through this, but let's highlight them one more time. The I did 42 sit-ups. Ms. Hildebrandt did 89 more sit-ups. So using that, I actually drew you something of this bar is what I did. And how many did I do? Go right back into the problem. I did 49 sit-ups. So I did 49 in Ms. Park to show you who and how many of what. Who, how many of what. Then the next part is Ms. Hildebrand did 89 more sit-ups than me. So I'm going to draw a longer bar because it is 89 more sit-ups. Can't be a shorter bar because this is only 42 sit-ups. Then I put 89 more. I forgot to put sit-ups and Ms. Hildebrand. But where am I putting this thing? This is called a bracket. Where am I putting that? Is it for the whole thing? Did she only do 89? No, she did 89 more. And my bracket would actually go right here. So for this bracket, so what are you exactly looking for? Well, let's go back and look at our question. You're looking for how many setups did Miss Hildebrand do? Ooh. My mistake, you're not just looking for this, you're actually looking for the whole bracket. So you're looking for from here all the way to here. So how are you going to find that? Well, first of all, you should have a piece of paper, pencil, and remember that you need a number sentence, a word sentence, and don't just do it vertically, do that at the end and to double check your answer. I want you to come up with a different method. Drawing would be great. Think about tens and ones. Think about counting up. Think about airway. There's many different ways that I would love to see. So right now, pause the video and start working. And I'll see you in a little bit with my three different methods. The first way that I thought we can solve this is usually my first way is some sort of drawing method. So they were telling me that I did 42 push-ups and then Miss Hildebrand did 89 more. So I already know that Miss Park did 42 and Miss Hildebrand did 89 more. Which means we're going to add these two together to get our answer. So if I were to draw 42 circles and 89 circles, we can do that. But we have actually moved on from that where you can kind of do 10 and 1s. We gotta do 10s, 1s. and ones. All right, so I'm going to start with my ones first. My ones are always circles, my tens are always sticks, and my hundreds are always boxes. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This actually gets me a ten. So I'm gonna circle that, cross it out, and add another ten there. I'm gonna shade it in so I know that that's what I added. So, so far I have that one left, don't forget about it. And then now here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's another 10. I'm going to circle that all together, cross it out, and going to make that into a box, which is a 100. I'm going to shade that in to say, hey, I added that. Then we have these three left. So right now I'm going to go, okay, so my 100, 10, 1. For my 100s are boxes, my 10s are little sticks, and my 1s are 0. Or, um, circles. I have one box for the hundreds, I have one, two, three for my tens, and one for my hundreds. So my answer came out to 131. My second way is going to be 
Well, let's write down what we already know. So this is what I'm doing, which we figured it out for my first problem. And our second method is just going to be, let's split it up into hundreds, I mean, tens and ones and tens and ones. And then let's add the tens together. And then let's add the ones together. And I get 0, 8, 12, and 11 here. So then I know that that's 1, that's 3, and that's 1. That's another way to add it, where you break apart the tens and the ones and you add them separately, where you add tens together and then you add the ones together and then you add those two together to get your answer. My third way to answer... How'd you do? Did you have something that I did? Because that means that this is actually working for us and you are learning many different ways to show your work. You need to be able to explain it like how I do. I know sometimes I'm stumbling over my words and that's okay because it's hard to put your thinking into words. But you need to be thinking about that while you are working. You can't just be like, oh, it's 131 because I got 131. Because we would want you to explain of how did you get there. So, my number sentence is 42 plus 89 equals 131. Or, you can flip them around because in addition, it doesn't matter which number goes in the front. As long as you have a full number sentence with an equal sign, of, you can go 89 plus 42 equals 30, 131. And my word sentence is, Miss Hildebrand did 131 sit-ups. And, I will see you tomorrow. Bye!